YouTube, it is your favorite game here above, Average Cody, coming at you with all of the current problems plaguing Halo Infinite Rank. That's right, we're doing a little discussion piece today, and I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. We're going to discuss everything that I think is a major problem in Halo Infinite Ranked. Currently, I'm going to start with my biggest complaint first, and then go down the list, and I'd just love to hear your guys' thoughts on everything. So, without further ado, guys, my first and biggest complaint with Halo Infinite ranked right now is the ranking system. By that I mean how much you gain and how much you lose uh, after each game that you play. I feel like this is the least rewarding rank system I have ever experienced in my life. Most times I am actually losing more SR than I am gaining for wins and losses. The example I will give to you guys is, say uh, we just won a really hard fought game, super close game, a uh, really grinder of a game, we were working hard, and we won, say, I don't know, by two kills on a Slayer. Say I was second on the team, uh, okay, I gained plus 8 SR. You know, I'm happy with that, you know, a win's a win, 8 SR, decent amount to gain. I wasn't bottom of the team, wasn't top of the team, that's cool, that's fine. Next game we play, say I'm solo queuing, I could have finished top of the team, tons of damage, tons of kills, but we lost the game. Now you come out of that lobby and you lost 10 SR, which now you're top of the team, you felt like you played really well, and you're getting essentially punished for it because you're losing 10 SR and potentially the rest of the team is losing less because they were lower on the leaderboard than you. Let's use an example of like a four game landscape here, guys. You win two, lose two. You could win two games and get plus eight SR both times. And then you could lose two games and lose 10 SR both times. And in that example, you are finishing that session of play minus 4 SR. That is horrendous for an entire four games of ranked. And my biggest thing with this is, obviously there's variables like your objective time, where you finish on the leaderboard, how well you do, but it does not feel rewarding because it is always easier. I've always said this. It is always easier to lose in rank than it is to win. Anybody can put the controller down. Anybody can have a bad day. Anybody can say, I don't, I'm not playing well today. It is super easy to lose, especially in Halo Infinite. It is very hard to win, especially if you're going against a four stack. I don't know, people on better ping, people that are better than you in general. And no matter what uh, the circumstances are, I feel like, I am not being rewarded. I am literally grinding so hard to gain very little SR. And then I am grinding hard, still losing games, even when I'm playing very well, and just getting absolutely hammered for SR. Just nothing about this current rank system feels rewarding. Um, it it definitely makes a lot of people who come here for the rank. Onyx is a very big status symbol, and they can't reach it because they're just getting absolutely blasted in the SR department. And uh, I really do think that's the biggest problem plaguing ranked. And the biggest issue I have is before this last update, it felt like they were really close to a good place with it. Um, when the winter update first went live, it felt like the most you could lose SR wise after a loss was maybe like six to eight, maybe nine or 10 on a really bad loss. But every win you got, it seemed like you were gaining probably anywhere from eight to 15. And this felt really good. It felt really rewarding because I win, I see a large bar of gain and I lose, I see a small bar of gain. And obviously this needs to adjust as you get higher in the ranks that you belong at, blah, blah, blah. But it feels rewarding. It feels like those wins that I have to work so freaking hard to get are uh, seriously helping me rank up, which is the goal of ranked. But I feel like this current rank system is really bad. Um, I don't know what is going on. I don't know if they're going to adjust it further. But right now, man, it's not rewarding. It is uh, pretty abysmal days uh, when you're losing like a ton of games and it feels like I'm just completely blasting my SR and then on the best of days, I'm not really gaining it back because I'm getting those little tiny nuggets of SR gain. Okay, now that one was way longer than I wanted to get into. I wanted this to be a quick video, but that, like I said, I'm going in order from my biggest complaints first to my lesser complaints later on. So next up, guys, I have how inconsistent ranked play feels and i suppose this could be attributed to desync or what have you and i'm not even talking in regards to like inconsistent melees or like shots looking like they hit and then not hitting or what have you i'm talking about 
I could have two amazing games where I'm on a burner, I'm putting in all this damage, I'm getting kills, the snipes are hitting, I'm feeling good. And then I'll play a game immediately after, and the game just does not feel right. It feels like a completely different game. And I know all you longtime Halo rank players or Halo Infinite players in general know exactly what I'm talking about. There are just those games where it feels like I am one step behind every player in the lobby. No matter their skill level, no matter their movement, it feels like no matter what I do, my bullets aren't hitting, I can't hit a snipe to save my life, and I just can't do anything in the game as a whole. And the ping is low. Like, I'm not even talking like being on expanded and seeing 200 ping. I'm talking, I'm still on my 20 to 30 ping, and the game just does not feel right. It looks good, but it does not feel right. And maybe it's just me. Maybe it's a skill issue. But I'm, I know for sure a lot of you guys have been there. But uh, the games are fewer and further between. But I still quite often get games where it just does not feel right. And that's really the best wording I can put it in. Next up, guys, you know I was going to bring up the maps. Not super happy with the current map selection, I guess. Uh, detachment being the first one that comes to mind. It doesn't really feel like a ranked map. And I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm not saying it's the worst map ever. I'm just saying it does not feel very competitive. And uh, I just, the, that map, I mean, some other complaints on certain maps, I feel like they, they just shouldn't be there. And we need more maps. Okay, so I'll let that slide. You know, you added a new map. That's cool. That's awesome. Why are you taking old maps out? The reason we want more maps is more variety and ranked. So when we get a map added, why are you pulling out Catalyst, a really good CTF map? Why are you pulling out Bazaar? Not the best CTF map, but better than... I'd rather play it than Detachment. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to throw a little bit of opinion in this video. Um, we want more maps in general. We don't want the same amount of maps rotated out. Just leave all the maps in. We want a wider selection, and I want to feel like there is just an endless amount of things that I could end up with in the next game that I queue. And now, guys, along those same lines on in terms of maps... Why does it feel like in, like, a 10-game playing session, I am only playing one map 90% of the time? And this has been happening as often as, like, literally yesterday. It feels like there's days where all I play is streets. I don't know if they, like, try to switch up how heavily a map is weighted. I don't know if I'm just the most unlucky soul out there. But I have days where I will play literally 12 maps and 10 of them are streets. It is the craziest thing ever. And then sometimes there's a recharge day. But never is it like a live fire day. Never is it like an Argyle day. Like, it, I, I don't understand how these maps are weighted. Obviously, some maps have more game modes and such. But it just seems weird that I will see the same exact map over and over and over and over again. And this does stem off my same complaint of adding new maps and taking out old ones does not fix the problem that made us want new maps in the first place. And finally, guys, I do want to touch upon some of the sandbox. Uh, I don't really want to call them issues, but I do want to talk about the sandbox briefly. Um, most of it's pretty decent. You know, it's a sandbox. It's a Halo Infinite sandbox. Uh, so you kind of know what to expect already. But the four rockets, man, the four rockets on pit. I do not know how I feel about that. There's four rockets. There's a total of, what, 16 sniper bullets at the start, and it just feels like, and I said this the other day, it feels like I'm dying to power weapons more than I'm actually dying to a battle rifle or any other gun on the map. Uh, some people say it's not competitive to have four rockets. Some people love the four rockets. I'm not really here to take one side of the argument or the other. I'm just saying uh, you should probably take a look back and kind of adjust it because four rockets... Again, I'm not saying I hate it, but I am saying it feels a little bit crazy when somebody can walk into a spawn and literally kill each and every teammate with one rocket per head. And guys, that pretty much wraps up my main complaints and what I feel are the main problems plaguing Halo Infinite Ranked. Uh, there is one little thing that I left out, and that is matchmaking team comps. Uh, I feel quite often there are games where there are kids on my team in Diamond Lobbies, I'll have you know, that... 
do not know how to play objective, do not know how to shoot their BR, and just straight up, they should just be in lower ranks. Like, they shouldn't be in my lobby getting evaporated by the enemy team that is absolutely slamming us. Um, but I didn't really want to mention this in the main list of complaints because this may just be a me because I play in the morning when there's probably not a lot of players in to fill the ranked playlist. So that forces them to have to reach to different ranks uh, to fill teams and make the wait times lower because I will say the wait times have been really good. I did not have to list wait times um, in this video, and Halo Infinite's been kind of on a cold streak overall, so it's not like there's a huge influx of players in ranked all of a sudden, so I imagine that's what leads to the bad team comp, so I really didn't want to mention that as one of the, the main ranked problems per se, but it was worth mentioning that I've noticed a little bit extra lately uh, that when I play, uh, the teams just aren't exactly super balanced for what I feel like they should be in a... Uh, competitive game mode setting but all right guys that pretty much wraps up this video uh please guys share all of your thoughts in the comments i may not get around to replying to all of them but i read every single comment and i'd just like to see what what you guys think is the biggest problem in uh halo infinite ranked right now but that does it for me guys subscribe to the channel we literally stream ranked five days a week tons of halo videos just tons of content in general so hit that sub button guys leave a like on the video as well um you guys have a couple more days to enter our elite controller giveaway uh if you go on the best sniper tips video in the halo infinite playlist all you have to do is comment in the, on that video you have until 11 a.m eastern time saturday to enter so be sure to go do that but uh other than that guys channel membership super thanks if you'd like support monetarily it does help out ever so so much but please don't feel like you have to but alrighty, guys that does it for me. Thank you so much for all the support recently. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.